Are you frustrated with learning phrasal verbs in English? Well, you're not alone. With so many different meanings and so many different possibilities, it's almost impossible to learn them from a grammar book. So, today I'm going to give you real life examples to help you learn phrasal verbs once and for all. Put that boring grammar book down and let's get started. Don't forget guys, if you're new here and you want to learn English with confidence, why don't you start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Now, when it comes to understanding phrasal verbs, guys, context is crucial. In my opinion, you'll never be able to use phrasal verbs naturally if you don't know when and where to use them. So with this being said, let's have a look at some clips with the verb get. The phrasal verb get along means to have a good relationship with someone. Let's take a look at an example from the 1976 film Taxi Driver. Where are you from? Who's a killer? That guy Sport's a killer. That's who's a killer. Sport never killed him. He killed He's someone. a Libra. He's a what? I'm a Libra too. That's why we get along so well. He looks like a killer to me. Sport never killed him. He killed someone. He's a Libra. He's a what? I'm a Libra too. That's why we get along so well. Here's another example from Iron Man 2. I thought you two didn't... Get along. No, that's not so. It's just me you don't care for. No? Nothing. Actually, while you're here, maybe you and Natalie could discuss the matter of the personal belonging. Absolutely. I thought you two didn't... Get along. No, that's not so. We can also use get along to ask about how someone is doing in a particular situation. Watch the question that Tommy Lee Jones' character, Agent K, asked the aliens in the next scene. Wanga! Wanga! <laughs> how you doing, fellas? Oh, shit! Hey, hey, hey. Hey. That's not decaf, is it? Viennese cinnamon. Oh, don't tell me we only got that powder stuff of cream again. I hate that stuff. No, the Greek has a twaka. Oh, oh, it's oh. Crazy. oh okay. good. Yeah. You guys get along all right? No. Yes, yes, well, don't work too hard. Okay. Notice how the question is directed to all the worms with the phrase you guys, which is often used colloquially in English to address a group of males. Oh, that's oh, good. Yeah. You guys get along all right? No. Yes, yes, well, don't work too hard. Okay. Okay. Now, just to make it a little bit more confusing, Get along can also be used with with if you know who you're talking about. Let's take a look at this clip from Pineapple Express as an example. Um, a little sometimes. She has a couple. She's in high school, so you know, as much as any high school kid. She's cool as hell, actually. You'd probably get along with her. Really? Uh, she's in high school, so you know, as much as any high school kid. She's cool as hell, actually. You'd probably get along with her. Really? Uh, I guess. Yeah, you know. So, to summarise guys, get along can be used to express having a good relationship with someone or something. It can also be used to ask how someone is doing in a particular situation. And don't forget guys, you can use get along with with if the person is the object of the sentence. So next up guys, we are going to look at the phrasal verbs get on, get off, get in and get out. Let's get to it! Put simply, the phrasal verbs get on and get off are most commonly used when entering or leaving a vehicle. Get on and get off are used in this context with bigger vehicles such as trains, planes or ships for example. Now I want you to listen very carefully to what Leonardo DiCaprio's character says in the next scene. Get us another seat on the plane. If I get on this plane and you don't honor our agreement, land, I go to jail for the rest of my life. Complete the job en route. I make one phone call from the plane. You have no trouble getting through immigration. If I get on this plane and you don't honor our agreement, when we land, I go to jail for the rest of my life. And now I'm going to show you a classic example of the phrasal verb get off from the film Air Force One with Harrison Ford and Gary Oldman. Get off my plane. 
Now, like how we use get on and get off for entering or exiting bigger vehicles, we use get in and get out in the same way, but with smaller vehicles such as cars, vans, or trucks, for example. Let's have a closer look at a clip from Back to the Future 2. Doc? I need fuel. Go ahead, quick, get in the car. No, 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 look, Doc, I just got here, okay? Jennifer's here, we're gonna take the new truck for a spin. Well, bring her along. This concerns her, too. Wait a minute, Doc, what are you talking about? Now, Go ahead, quick, get in the car. No, no. And now for an example of the phrasal verb get out from the film Terminator. Let's get out of here. Get out. In the next clip, we'll discover another use of the phrasal verb get off. Can you work it out? That cup has Gary written all over it. Keys? I can't. It's Jeb's car. Well, won't he be surprised when I drive it home for him? Who are you, mister? Really? I'm just a guy who wants to be left alone. I get off work at six. In this context, get off is used to say that she finishes work at six. Let's take another look. I'm just a guy who wants to be left alone. I get off work at six. To summarize, just remember that get on and get off can be used for entering or leaving larger vehicles, with get in and get out being used in the same way, but for smaller vehicles. Get off can also be used to express what time you finish work and will be available, for example, in the evening. The final phrasal verb we are going to look at today is get over. Let's start by having a look at a clip from Friends. <sighs> but he's with her now. I'm just going to have to get over it. Oh, I'm going to have to get over it. I just have to get over it. <laughs> In this clip, Monica is explaining how the easiest way for Rachel to stop thinking about Ross would be to stop complaining and stop worrying about him. In other words, Monica is saying, forget about him and be happy. Let's have another look. He's with her now. I'm just going to have to get over it. Oh, I'm going to have to get over it. In this context, get over is most commonly used when talking about recovery from an illness. For example, it took me two weeks to get over that cold. Or... I had a couple of rough days on the toilet, but I'm finally getting over it. Now, get over can also be used with someone to talk about recovery from a specific person, often when talking about relationships or the breakdown of a marriage, for example. Let's have a look at the following clip from the film Friends with Benefits. Oh. Who is Dee Dee? She's just... A girl that I met in the Navy was, <clears throat> she was the love of my life. And I, I lost her because of something so dumb, I don't even remember. And I never really got over her. And I think that may be one of the reasons your mom left. Notice here how the character says, I never really got over her. To suggest he can't move forward with his life and that he still hasn't recovered. She was the love of my life, and I was too stupid to realize it, and I, I lost her because of something so dumb, I don't even remember. And I never really got over her. And I think that may be one of the reasons your mom left. So to summarize, guys, to get over something means to start feeling happy or well again after something bad, often an illness, for example. To get over someone, on the other hand, is used when you start to forget someone and feel happy again, often after a relationship. So there we have it guys, another video done for you there. Just one more thing before you go. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more great content. And also stay tuned for my next part of my phrasal verb series, where we'll be looking at more phrasal verbs with more real life examples. Once again guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.